Hello again, YouTube. I'm JX Gaming, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial of Zeus Game Master. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create uh, simple, uh, basic uh, missions or creations that'll help you uh, get started in public Zeus matches or even uh, private Zeus matches. So uh, hopefully this will help you out a lot. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Your first type of mission is going to be some sort of uh, attack and defend type of thing. So you could have the players att assault a base uh, such as this and uh, have them fortify it to their own uh, needs and then uh, prepare for a counterattack via enemy forces. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this up with enemy forces and show you how a standard military base would be set up. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now that you got your base all set up, um, you can change this, uh, upsize it, downsize it, however you want, uh, depending on your needs. Uh, this base right here, as of now, would uh, keep 8 to 12 people busy for a good 30 minutes. So I'm going to let you get a good look at it, and I'm going to head off and build you a second scenario to get your mindset right uh, for other just missions other than just simple attack and defense. Another good scenario, a lot of uh, people in the Zeus community uh, like to play is the convoy mission. Uh, basically you get uh, a lot of vehicles in a line and drive them across Altus to either deliver it to some place or transport troops something of that sort. Um, so one thing to throw in their path is a roadblock. Uh, these are good little obstacles um, that put people to work and uh, have to make them think sometimes if you put it in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up a um, I guess like a formal roadblock so it's uh, not understaffed or overstaffed dramatically so there's a couple of units that you'll absolutely need and you can throw in or take off units as needed so there are a couple so you want to have your Almost standard auto run. rifleman then you want to have your combat lifesaver next you want to have your rifleman your rifleman AT your officer your roadblock officer and you want to have your what am I missing? Your static machine gun. There we are. So you can place these down as I am showing here. 
you have the static machine gunner on the left side of the roadblock along with the rifleman and you have them stationed there those guys will be on that side then you'll have the officer on this side with the combat lifesaver then you will stick the a team in uh, along with the auto rifleman in the top of the tower to give them the most protection since they are the most valued um, whenever when it becomes uh, necessary to deal with uh, infantry and uh, vehicles so that is how you set up a simple roadblock uh, you can also go into the empties tab and scroll down to the structures fences and put in a bar gate and orient this to however you want to set up some sort of uh, block so if players do have the uh, mindset just to run every roadblock and get through as fast as possible uh, this will pretty much stop the first truck so um, I'll get back to you with a, another scenario I'd like to go over next on our list is the IED clearing mission uh, basically you could have uh, soldiers run a road a uh, road extent like this and uh, line with IEDs and have them go along it and clearing it. Uh, there are a few ways to disable an IED. One is to crawl up to it and uh, disarm it. Uh, the Zeus does have control over the IEDs and when they explode. Uh, to get to the IEDs tab, uh, go to empty. Scroll all the way to the bottom, go into the others tab, and go to explosives. You have your large IED, you have your large IED urban, your small IED and then your small IED urban and each one has its own uh, texture skin whatever you want to call it and if you have these placed in the proper spots uh, players will sometimes notice them sometimes they won't and uh, if they do get too close to an IED you can punish them by selecting it and pressing the end key that is E N D on your keyboard pressing it and it will detonate so uh, each IED does have its own uh, size of explosion. Uh, the IED dug in, I believe, has the second largest explosion. The IED urban, the large IED urban, has the biggest, and then the smaller ones, um, same size comparison. Uh, also on the explosives list, you have the claymore charges. You have the explosive charge and you have the satchel charge. The satchel charge is a basically a brick of C4 that you need to detonate. And the explosive charge is same thing but on a smaller scale. And then um, this is a claymore, it's a directional charge so if you detonate it it will shoot in one direction. Basically that way which was southwest if you did not know. And then uh, this is the explosive charge. You can place these on the road, they're more camouflaged and uh, that's if you just need to set it off just to get some chaos up and then set up an ambush of some sort. And then here's the satchel. It's a lot larger, a lot louder, and a lot bigger than most other explosives. So, uh, basically you can line the roads with these and uh, have players drive down them with a truck or players and have them sweep the sides of the roads. And if uh, one does get too close, you can detonate it whenever you'd like. Punish that. Sorry man. So uh, I'll be back with you whenever I have the next mission I'd like to share with you. Uh, most likely our final mi our final scenario that I'll share with you. And uh, see you then. So my final mission uh, is going to be a hostage rescue mission. So there's a few things you'll need to know for this hostage rescue mission. I'll go over that after I set up the uh, small FOB or uh, hostage location here.
Okay, so as we finish up the, the base here, there are a few things you'll need to know, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, one of them is to make civilians uh, friendly to factions. So to do this, you basically select the civilian by click, left clicking on him. And then if you hold down control, click on his uh, little waypoint here, and drag it to the officer. That will group him up, and that will make him part of his faction. And then he'll be red, and so if a firefight does break out between NATO, NATO or AAF, um, the sieve won't run away, and then if the players get to where the sieve's supposed to be, and they're like, where's the sieve? And turns out he's three clicks away in Agios Dionysus. That's uh, not necessarily a good thing you want to happen. So if NATO players do get close enough, you can aud you can group them up so he doesn't run off. And uh, it just helps out with the chaos and the uh, organization of your mission. Also, I've thrown a few guys in the bushes. Uh, never, No one ever said that uh, Op 4 or CSAT fights fair. So you can have an AT man stationed up here. So if they want to play the dumb route and pull right up front where all the guys are, the AT man has a cl clear shot all the way down this road to actually hit the vehicles before they even get there. And then he'll have his uh, rifleman here covering him as uh, he launches the rockets. So if the players don't play too smart and then they get killed uh, either you can be a merciful Zeus or you can uh, say well you played dumb and uh, that's your fault and uh, sorry I won't give you another hunter if you want to be that Zeus perfectly, perfectly fine uh, what you say pretty much goes so that pretty much wraps up my uh, missions or my mission template tutorial deal so feel free to use any of these I don't care if you do and uh, Hopefully, if you do it better than me in a Zeus mission and we happen to be together, I will um, gladly use it in a video. So, uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you share this with some of your friends. Uh, subscribe if you can. And uh, like and comment on what you want to see next. Um, thank you for watching. Oh, one more thing before I go. Uh, be looking out for an update video. And uh, recently we hit... 10 subscribers and uh, if we can hit 15 I'd be glad and I'd be uh, very much happy to um, do a 15 subscriber special on whatever game you'd like to see could do some modded arma or anything like that so hope you'll enjoy uh, thanks for watching and uh, Jake Gaming signing off see ya